Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In our last screencast, we went over a contact us form. Um, and one of the problems that somebody mentioned is how do you stop a spam bot from using your contact us form? There are two methods that I know of that work fairly okay. The first is the CAPTCHA, um, and it's just using sessions and in passion an image through PHP. The person reads the image, tries to display it in text, and then continue. That's a bit more work than what I'm going to actually show you, and that's just using CSS. So all we're going to do is duplicate our form and then hide our, our non-duplicated form. So the first thing we're going to do is just paste the comment, it's going to be our fake form. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the username, the email, and the inquiry alone since most spam bots will pick up a username and email and try to fill that out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and rename our duplicated form with one. So email one, username one, inquiry one. And we are going to wrap our fake form in a div. And then within our div, we're going to have a style tag. And then within the style tag, we're going to have display none. So if we go ahead and save this and refresh our contact us form, it will still only show one page. Now if we go ahead and just take out this, the styling, it will actually show both of the forms. So let's go ahead and take that right back out. Alright, that's all we need to do for the first step, or the, yeah, the first page. And now we're going to edit our PHP step two page. And all we're going to do is detect here. Let's go ahead and copy this post and throw in an if statement. So if it actually types if post username is not empty. Then um, let's just go ahead and forward them to page three. So they're gonna. So if it's not empty, as in somebody actually filled it out, as in a bot would fill this out, we just throw them to step three and say congratulations and blah blah blah. So we're not gonna say you know, sorry your form was not processed, blah blah blah, because what if the bot is expecting that page? Then there is the else. Actually, just leave the else out because the page should redirect after we throw the header. All right. So if the username is filled in, then what we're going to do is have the username ones as we set from our previous field here. Username one for our name and email and inquiry. Um, and then we just process the form. That's really it. You can do a little bit more testing here, saying. Uh, and and we also going to test the email. Actually, we can do an or, not an and. It's or and or inquiry. So if they fill out a username, an email, or an inquiry, as in the bot does. So if none of them or if any of them are not empty then we don't do the email. And that pretty much stops all the spam that I've ever gotten. I've done this on my contact form and my email form, and I've stopped it completely. I don't have any kinds of spam whatsoever. Now, if somebody has CSS disabled or um, does not have a browser that um, has CSS, that might be a problem. But generally on small sites, this is perfectly fine. That's pretty much it. Enjoy your new code I guess. I'll have the source code on the right side of my video and um, you can look at it if you're confused or lost. And if you have any more questions please leave a comment and rate this video.